is Peggy, and today I'm getting baptized with my husband, Matthew. I have attended this church since the days of David Jeremiah. I was baptized with my children. Now I want to be baptized for me by myself. Um, just a way to signify that I love God and I love Jesus and I've accepted him in my heart. And through the Holy Spirit, I want to do more for the service of God. And I do know that no matter how awful of a sinner I have been, that I'm still forgiven in the blood of Christ, my pathway to God, my Father. My name is Matthew Tittman. Um, I'm Peggy's husband. Um, she decided to get baptized again, which gave me a great excuse to do it, too. It's something I've longed to do for a long time. I was in the Lutheran Church, and I was baptized as a child, and I've always acknowledged that baptism. Um, God's always been present in my life, guiding me to do the things that he wants me to do, and I want to be baptized like Christ was as an adult, voluntarily, um, in public, to acknowledge my love for him, and... Uh, in service of him, I guess. Amen. Happy Easter, Black Hawk! I am so glad to greet you from here, and I am here with Miss Peggy and Matt together, and I get to baptize uh, this amazing couple. Thank you for sharing your story. If you'll grab my hand here, you can come join us here. Peggy, who are you trusting in for salvation? Jesus. Jesus, amen. And it's because of that profession of faith. Our shirt says made new. We're made new today, and this water just symbolizes his death and burial and his resurrection. Because of your profession of faith in him, I get to baptize you with your husband as my sister. In the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk with him in new life. <laughs> Matt, who are you trusting in for your salvation? Jesus. Amen. My brother, it's because of that profession of faith, I get to stand here with your beautiful bride, baptize you as my brother in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism, raised to all with him in a new life. Thank you. My name is Oswald, and the reason why I want to get baptized is to publicly show the world that I'm a Christian and I'm a follower of Jesus. My name is Noel, and the reason why I want to get baptized today is because I want to follow him and I want to do all the things he wants me to do in reason for. Let's give it up for these two. Yeah. I am standing here with Evan, who's going to go first, and Noel, his sister, and their dad is going to baptize them. And I cannot imagine a better way, Stan, to spend Easter than baptizing your kids. Who are you trusting in for your salvation? Jesus. And because of that great profession of faith in him today, your dad and I get to stand here with your sister as family, as brothers in Jesus, and baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Raise to walk with him in a new life. Woo! Noel, I love your smile. She's just got such joy. I don't know if you guys can see what I can, but I love the joy of the Lord. Who are you trusting in for your salvation? Jesus. Amen to that. Amen to that. Because of that profession of faith, your dad and I get to stand here and baptize you today as my sister. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Praise to all with heaven and your life. Hi, my name is Ella Khan and I'm getting baptized today. I'm getting baptized today because when I was born, my parents already knew Jesus, and so through the years they have taught me. When I was six, when I was six at VBS, I felt that God was calling me to know and love Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I believe 1 Corinthians 15, 3 through 4, that Christ died for my sins according to the scripture, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scripture. And that is why I'm getting baptized today. Yeah. I get to stand here now with, whoo, I'm overwhelmed, church. <laughs> Happy Easter. This is what it's all about. 
These stories preach the best sermons. And Ellie, thank you for sharing your story. Who are you trusting in for salvation today? Jesus. And her dad, Chris, is here. Mom's right up here. What a moment this is. And because of that profession of faith, Ellie, we get to baptize you today. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. Raised to walk with Him in a new life. Woo! Easter! Woo! We have the Richard family, and I'm up here with Dad. Mom's right up here. I've got Reese. I've got Sully. And Mark, you ready to do this? I can't think of a better way to have an Easter, my friend. So, yeah. Who are you trusting in, Sully, for your salvation? Jesus, he says. And it's because of that profession of faith I stand here with your dad and your sister mom and your family and we're family as a brother in Christ we baptize you right now in the name of the Father of the Son and of the Holy Spirit buried with Christ in baptism raised to walk with heaven in new life Miss <laughs> Reese I love your smile she's been so excited up here I wish you guys could see all the joy that we get to see and dad and mom are so proud to stand with you in these moments who are you trusting in Reese for your salvation Jesus Jesus, and it's because of that profession of faith to get to stand here and we get to baptize you as my sister today in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk with heaven in your life. So I can go to heaven and be with God forever because I love God and because he is the creator of the earth. And all God's people said, amen. This is Harrison Harbor. His dad, Thomas, is here, and uh, his mom's singing, and what a beautiful, amazing day this is. On our shirts, it says, Made New. All of these, the kids, they've walked through our baptism classes with our children's ministry and with their parents, and they've accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. They're made new. This is a symbol of that. As we go under the water, it represents the death, the burial of Jesus. As we come out, his resurrection. So Harrison... Who are you trusting in for salvation? Jesus. Jesus. I love it. Amen. And it's because of that profession, that loud, bold, proud profession in Jesus today, you get to stand here with your dad and baptize you in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism, <laughs> raised to walk with him in a new life. Woo! I accepted Jesus into my heart at a young age and graduated high school from Blackhawk Christian. I never actively pursued my faith, but knew deep in my heart that I needed Jesus in my life. I wanted to live my life the way I thought was best. Before my husband and I got married, it, his close friend passed away from an overdose. And soon after that, a family friend invited us to attend Blackhawk Christian. We were excited to hear Pastor Kevin preach about spiritual maturity. We continued to attend Blackhawk each week and knew God, and I knew God was using Pastor Kevin to speak biblical truth into our lives. I'm excited to continue to invest in my faith and take the next step to, to be baptized. Amen. This is Cheyenne. Can you guys thank God for Cheyenne? Yeah. She's here with her husband, and we get to baptize you together today. You ready to do this? I'm so proud of you. We're honored to stand here with you. Who are you trusting in for salvation? Jesus. Jesus. And it's because of that profession of faith I stand here with your husband, and I'm so proud of you. And we get to baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk with him in a new life. I think I've been coming to Blackhawk for about a year now. Um, about a year ago, I lost a very close friend. It was very difficult and hard, and I kind of went down a very bad path that was not the path that I would have taken myself, but I was kind of just drawn to it with depression and everything. Um, and I kind of lost myself there for a while. So whenever I started coming to Blackhawk, I started feeling better, but it was more so I had a kind of like a calling to do better and that I needed to connect with God more and um, 
be myself and be free and not go down that dark path anymore because nothing good would have came out of it. So, um, yeah, it, it was a rough path. And I, when I found him and reconnected, because I did see, like I, I used to be involved in church as a kid and everything like that. So I lost touch and then I knew I needed to gain the touch back and relationship with him. So I just wanted to continue to build my relationship. And this is getting baptized is kind of like a fresh start for me on the path that I do want to be on. All right, this is Sarah. Everybody say hi, Sarah. <laughs> and our God is so good. He is so good, church. And he is so mighty. And he loves you so much. And he has brought you to this point. And he is not done writing your story, young lady. Who you're trusting in today for your salvation? Jesus Christ. All right. Because of that profession of faith. It's now my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bury with Christ in baptism, ready to walk with him in your life. I didn't grow up in a Christian household necessarily. I've never been to a church service till August of 2019, which my family, found, uncle, and aunt that have been coming here for over 30 years finally kept bugging me, and I just said, sure, I'll go to a church service. Why not? I was open-minded about it finally after 21 years of life. Um, God had revealed himself to me back in 2013 with the passing of my biological dad, but I was too ignorant or just blindsided and just rationalized and saying, oh, this is not God. And this I wasn't believing in the Lord. Um, so finally after, in August 2019, God pierced my heart and I nailed down my salvation. And finally after some time of kind of being just stuck and just not happy with progressing my relationship with the Lord, I finally decided to become baptized, and that's why I want to be baptized, just keep pursuing our relationship with God. Love it. This is Blake. Everybody say hi, Blake. Hello. He's another one of our young adults, and uh, Blake, who are you trusting in today for your salvation? Jesus Christ. All right. Because of that profession of faith, it's now my honor to baptize you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bury with Christ in baptism. Face the walk with Him in new life. I've grown up in Blackhawk all my life. I would have always considered myself a Christian, um, but for a very long time, I definitely wasn't living that way. Um, and one day the Lord just uh, made it obvious to me that no work, um, no family, no status or whatever um, could ever save me and that he was always going to be the only thing that could save me. So um, that's when I would consider myself saved is when he revealed uh, that to me and just made him the focus of my life. And that's why I'm taking the step of baptism today. Um, I want the I want everyone around me and the entire world to know um, that I'm a follower of Christ first, and that's how I define my life. Amen. Amen. This is Luke. Luke Smith, we're here with uh, his father, Curtis. Mother Jesse is out there as well, big part of your story. Uh, so proud of you, young man, and uh, so, so honored to be in the water with you today, with your father. Who are you trusting in today for your salvation? Jesus Christ. All right. Get dad in here. <laughs> what an awesome moment as a, as a father as well. Uh, I've got three children and I mean, outside of getting married, this is probably the day, right? This is the day. And so because of that profession of faith, Luke, it's now your dad's and my honor to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bury with Christ in baptism. Raise to walk with 